And now the exercise. So that was an introduction, I will put as an introduction. I put out the air. When I breathe out, I'm all the time taking care that my navel is not going out. It must at least remain there. And I breathe out with this sound. Then I will go on breathing out even if I, I finish the air. And it will be an active pose. So I will go on using the same muscles that I used to breathe out, avoiding that I will close into the vocal tract and avoiding that this muscle will not remain in the same position or when it was really pushing out the air. Since we can't start, or usually a great part of you will, will not be able to start by remaining really in the pose with the same posture and the same uh, just making the photo of the movement you were doing, I prefer to ask you to go on pushing out, even if you don't have air anymore, and not pushing out with some other muscles and some other uh, with the rib cages or with the back, no, just with the same muscles of Sofietti. So if you, if you have tried to do Sofietti, you will breathe out with the same kind of gesture from your brain and the same kind of condition in the physics. So if you don't know Sofietti, I will not repeat in here, you look at Sofietti, at the tutorial of Sofietti, and then you start this one. And you go on with the same gesture without changing the gesture just because you have other air remaining into your body. It doesn't matter. We are working on the muscle, not on the air. We are all the time working on the muscles, not exactly on the air. Take care of that. This is very important. And you'll do the same noise that I will do. Then the pose, the pose meaning you go on. Then you let the air in. Letting in meaning that you will perceive this muscle that is the transversus abdominis being really, really, really working and you let it in one only gesture. This is to find the ilse middendorf breathing in, that it comes by itself. Also, um, link later method has it. And of course, it is the basis of a very good breathing. It is the automatical breathing. We must need and take back that. And then to use again the, the wheel and to start with something very um, volunteer on breathing out. Then in a second step we will also use something voluntary in breathing in. But first of all and most important is that we find back the automatical breathing in. So you put out and if you do nothing and you don't think about putting the air in but just leaving that muscle, since you will have a hole, it will come inside some, uh, some air. When it comes inside, again, it will not be all the abdomen outside, but it will be the sensation, as if you do uh, vinyasa yoga, some of you probably does, do, of a stretching inside. A little of the abdomen will come out and then you will feel an elongation inside and also the air will arrive a bit in here. A bit. It's not a big breath. Then another pose with doing nothing and not closing there. And if it's possible, remaining with the mouth open. And now we go back again. When we go out, you will not perceive that. I really want to throw out the air. Really throw out in one second. Boom! As if I want to really to push out. That for that, these exercises has a really bad Italian name that is the scatarata. I will not translate that, no. <laughs> you will look for yourself, but I will leave the, uh, the, the word in the comments. So perhaps you will have fun. It's something that makes my students really have fun. And they told me, no, please, please, please don't change this name because it really gives the idea. It's a bit rude. Uh, I try to do a couple of uh, cycles of that. And now I stay in pose. You don't have to talk. Nothing goes out. And now I leave the contraction. I feel a wave inside. And I let it by itself go till where it wants. And I wait quietly. 
you will probably feel and hear something inside moving sometimes a little bit of not discomfort but not exactly comfort and then we are out again and here in pose I wait and then I let the breathing in is by the nose if it's possible and when it's not possible, it will become by the nose. And when if it's possible, you close the mouth and you do by the nose, okay? And then I wait, and again out. So the question is, have you heard some sound? Perhaps, I don't know. You will tell me, and you will try. The same sound of me. One trick, if you can't do really properly. Sometimes the um, resistance and the stiffness of the jaw is by the lack of support and the lack of sustain. So, sometimes you start really with that kind of posture, that it is something quite usual now, so you can't have really a proper diaphragm connection and position. In this case, when you breathe out, you will have this coming back a little higher and better than before. When you breathe in, you have to look more into this elongation. And then when you breathe out again, without putting that out, if this is not long enough in my end, your diaphragm has not these fast fibers working yet, don't worry, they start not working at all. You have the impression that you do everything wrong and doesn't work. The Saturday starts working. It does work in that way. So absolutely do not worry. Just be straight and do sometimes four cycles and then you stop. And then three days after you do again and then you stop. The trick if we here it's really really stiff and you can't open. The trick is that you open slightly and then you close slightly and you open again so that you're sure that you are not opening too much because too much will be stiff also and the movement must be must be in a different speed as the air movement if you've done sofieti or if you do that quite well you will hear that it's quite fast the gesture inside and it seems quite big and in here it will not have the same strength than here exactly as when we sing on the other side so i will show you you probably stay in those position you probably can't stay as me like that but you will have that so you will just start by i breathe out and when you will start opening while you're breathing out you will probably at a certain moment and quite soon perceive something behind your navel and behind your stomach contracting Second trick, don't give a different order when you start perceiving. Also, this is fundamental. Sometimes you start perceiving that a certain party starts working and then you want to get direct to work on that and to do that. No, because you will do a different gesture. So you must always use the same order you used the first time. The same order is an order and it works because it works on the brain and on the involuntary part muscles, meaning the diaphragm. What you can perceive, usually you perceive voluntary parts and you, you think, oh, I've understood what it works. Oh, I've understood where it has to work. And you do that directly and it doesn't work because you're doing with a different order. What you perceive is the sign that you it starts working with the correct order. So we don't change the order. Even if it is more comfortable for the brain to give an order to voluntary muscles, no. We give orders for both, voluntary and involuntary. Try that. 